it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video, and this is episode two of our Let's Play series. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and check out episode one. It's essentially where we met our starters, Faith and Buck. We figured out we have a blue airport, our native fruit is peaches, our native flower is roses, and then we very creatively named this island Cove Cala. And as promised, I have not time traveled. I have not even opened this save file since last recording. So let's go ahead and dive into the chaos today because I have a feeling things are gonna get wacky. Good morning, Mr. Nook. Let's see what you have to say today. Hello, hello, time for an island wide broadcast, your source of island news. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life. So lend me your island ears for a short time. Wow, this guy loves saying the word island, doesn't he? Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It is 1121 AM this happy Thursday, April 21st, 2022. That's today. There is not much news today, probably because we're on a deserted island and there really isn't too much to talk about quite yet. So instead, I'll share some valuable tips about Cove Cala living. Don't forget to check the passport app once in a while. Hmm? We recommend that if you visit other islands, you can update your photo title and comment from time to time. Now, at some point in this Let's Play, I very much plan to visit some of your islands to gather resources, maybe shop in your Nook's Cranny or Able Sisters, or even trade fruit. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's likely where I am going to be asking to come and visit some islands for resources, but also join the Discord. Everything is in the description box below if you aren't a part of those communities. But that is very much going to be a part of this Let's Play. That is all from me by now. Okay, adios, Tom. Good to know about the passport situation. Not useful for today, but I digress. Good morning, sunshine. Well, it's 11.23 a.m. It's not really morning. It's like, it's almost lunchtime. But we have mail. What in the world? How do we have mail? Is this from Nintendo again? It is our first present from mom. Let's see what it has to say. My dear Katie, how is your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Um, does peach juice count as eating well? Cause we don't have a stove yet. Can't cook anything. Brushing your teeth? Absolutely not. Washing behind your ears? You can't even see my ears, so no. Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help you out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Oh, what could this be? I guess it could be a crop? Oh, what did our sweet mom give to us? Oranges? Oh my gosh, that made it so easy. Okay, well, now we have peaches as our native fruit, but now we can plant these oranges. That is very handy. Also, I did not even learn these DIYs, so let's go ahead and do that. We now know a simple DIY workbench. Again, very handy. And a leaf umbrella, which would have come in handy on 420 yesterday, but I promised I did not play off camera. I promised. So now let's do, let's do this. Um, I want to just run around, maybe check out the beaches, see if we can gather some seashells. We have not bought anything from Timmy yet. So let's collect, uh, let's collect some stuff. Just completely forge the island. Here's some stone. Got that. Great sticks. Need some sticks. Hey, Buck. How you doing, buddy old pal? Whoa, I think it worked. Hey, Katie, what do you mean? Were you just daydreaming of me and I appeared. I've been training my brain muscles for this thing called telepathy. It's for strong minds only. So he's basically claiming that he transported me here. Also look at his eyes right now. He is just staring straight into my soul. What? I started thinking really, really hard about you. Oh my. And here you are. So how have you been? You know, I've been, uh, I've been pretty good. You keep working on those telepathy skills, my friend. All right, now let's check out this beach over here. Ooh, Let's see what this is. We have a message bottle, our very first one of Cove Cala, and it is from Nibbles. Dear person, I don't know. My style is legit always on my mind, and I'm always asking, am I operating at peak me? So here's the special recipe that'll let you look however you want, whenever you want. Use this to glitz up your style. So I'm assuming this is a mirror. Woohoo, wooden full length mirror. Let's go ahead and learn that. We are DIY queens today, you guys. Also, can we we talk about how my outfit is very much Guy Fieri-esque with this pineapple button down and then just mismatched bright red shoes just for fun. And I need to craft some tools. The only thing right now that I have is a fishing rod because Tom Nook gave it to me, but that is it. Hey, little Tommy, look at your little flag. How am I enjoying island life? 
pretty swimmingly, cannot complain. I saw a message bottle wash up on the beach here of all the beaches in the world, right? Uh-oh, did he want that? Because I definitely already took it and really just learned that DIY and it went poof. So my bad if you called dibs, but um, you know, I would say you've got the next one, but you don't, that's for me and for my, my, my own personal purposes. There's mystery and adventure when someone sends a note by bottle into the big blue ocean. Uh, well now the mystery is where did it go? Because I took it. I picked it up at first, but then I put it back down so someone else could enjoy opening it. Oh my gosh, Tommy. Well, thank you. I opened it and now I have a big wooden mirror. Okay, I don't feel as badly. It looks like he was gonna take it, but very much decided to let me have it. So that's actually quite sweet. Okay, conscience cleared. Now where is Faith? Is she inside of her tent? Hmm, we haven't said hi to her yet. Let's go and find her as well as we keep foraging. Look at me picking up sticks like a good little Animal Crossing player. <gasps> hi, Faith. You're fishing. Wonder what kind of fish I'm going to meet today. I hope they're nice. Well, I hate to break it to you, Faith. They can't talk. But, you know, you're a koala and you talk, so hmm, I don't know. Maybe y'all will be able to converse. Another stick. Maybe we'll grab some stone, another stick over here, and a stick over here. This is great. And you know, let's go ahead and pick up some weeds because if I'm remembering correctly, in order to make a net, I think we need weeds. Hmm, DIY recipes. Oh, we just need tree branches. Oh, and we have six out of five, so we can make that. Oh my goodness. Okay, perfect. So we have a fishing rod already. And let's go ahead and go make that net and we can do some fishing. We can do some fishing. We can catch some bugs. This is great. This is our plan today. We are fully in Animal Crossing mode, you guys. Okay, now Tommy, Tommy, Tom, Tom, Tom Nook. I am going to borrow your workbench because even though I know I have the DIY recipe, I am not wasting my resources on that quite yet, so. Oh no, I just crafted a flimsy fishing rod when I already have one. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh my gosh, Katie, read. Why don't you read? Ugh, wow, that is so upsetting. Noob move. Big ol' noob move. Oh my gosh. And now I don't have enough resources to make the net. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, back outside. Sorry, guys. This is so embarrassing. Such a rookie mistake. Well, all right, here we go. We're gonna just shake this tree like crazy. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake that money maker. Okay, do I have enough? Let's see. Yes. Okay, perfect. We are back where we started. Let's go back in and we will make a net, not a rod. Net, not rod. Net, not rod. All right, guys, you know what? If you saw me in here earlier crafting a fishing pole, <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay, flimsy net. Yes, this is what I wanna make because I saw some really pretty butterflies and I want to collect all of the species. And you know what? For good measure, let's uh, let's talk to Timmy. Feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Yes, please. I wanna see if there's anything useful in here. Not like we have any bells, but we can at least see. Hmm, outdoor generator and a plastic canister. And that is... That is it. That's all. Yeah, no, not for us, Timmy. Um, I'm good. Oh, but we're not just sellers. We also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. Well, that I do have. All right, well, I wanna sell. Let's go ahead and get rid of these seashells we found on the seashore. Let's keep the stone for now because that is going to come in handy later on for sure. Um, but let's sell the sand dollar, the weeds, and then we'll sell this tree branch too, why not? Look at all of the fine things that you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. Wow, this dialogue has not changed <laughs> at all. <laughs> 1,145 bells, we are Basically millionaires. Yes, yes, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme money, gimme money. Money, please. Now, we also have this lost and found box. That is a recycle box for all of the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home or sell it to Timmy for money. But there might be something in there that we could use too. Oh wow, a cardboard box and a tree branch. Well, we're gonna take both of them. Tree branch, Timmy, didn't I just sell you a tree branch? Did you just put this in here? Um, well, I guess we're making our money back then. <laughs> All right, let us put our net to test. All right, flimsy net, let's go. Let's get this butterfly. Ready, ready? Pro gamer, I am a professional video gamer. 
<laughs> yes, I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. All right, now where's another one? And here's a stone we'll pick up. Uh-huh. All right, bugs. Come on, bugs. We're hunting for bugs. We're picking up sticks. We're picking up weeds to sell to Timmy. We're hunting for bugs. We're picking up sticks. We are <gasps> gonna catch this blue butterfly right here. Got it. Woohoo! I caught a common blue bottle. I'll put it in a rare green jar. All right. Hey, Buck. How you doing? Look at me. I have a net too. You wanna play? You wanna play a game? You're it. <laughs> Tag. <laughs> We're picking up sticks. We're picking up weeds. We are on Cove Carola. All right, blue bottle. Let me get another one of you because if nothing else, we can sell you. You know, it's unfortunate the fact that we cannot put the butterflies in a rare green jar because that would be beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah, the bulletin board. I haven't even checked this yet. Ooh, here we go. <gasps> Good news. We've placed a tape deck in front of resident services so you can enjoy group stretching. Remember, happy island living begins with daily exercise. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. We're gonna take a little break from our picking up weeds. Oh wait, actually, um, I wanna catch this butterfly really fast. Hold on, woohoo, nope, um, get it. Come on, Katie, come on, Katie, get it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I need you to listen to me. I have to catch you right now. Nope, right now, there we go. Yes, I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butter flies be yellow? I'm so funny. <laughs> and I saw a white one too. Yeah, 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 let's get it as well. Nope, okay, all right, come on. Ready, set, go. There we go. Yeah, told you guys, pro gamer, I'm just so good. And let us now do some group stretching. I think I've only done this once, but this will be pretty stinking cute, so let's do it. There are two play options, move your body while holding a Joy-Con, no thank you, or press buttons on a controller. Much more my pace, thanks. Begin, push L to stand up straight. Up, oh, oop, wait, I am way off beat. Wait, why am I just like, okay, hold on, come on, Katie. Rotate and stretch and together and stretch. And together, and that way. Oh no, now we're now we're not with the group again. Oh, come on, Katie. Don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass your lack of rhythm. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Look at her, at least she's like vibing though. Hop, 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 hop. And dun, 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 dun. cute. Look at how happy we are. Little Cove Cala family. Okay, now that we have properly stretched our bodies, let's go fishing. After all, because of my uh, terrible, terrible mistake, we have two fishing rods. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, is that a grasshopper? Hold on, hold on, I see it. It's right behind the bulletin board. All right, where'd you go? <gasps> and, oh, no, no, don't run away. And get it. Yeah, buddy. I got a long locust. Oh my gosh, and there's a dragonfly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> no, the dragonflies are so hard to catch. Get it. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. No, no, don't go across the water. No, I can't get over there yet. Okay, like I said, let's go fishing because clearly I'm struggling with the net today. Maybe this will be better luck. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? If I were a fish, I'd show up right now. <gasps> Whoa, that actually worked. <laughs> wow, am I, uh, am I magical? All right, little fish, let's go. Immediate, immediate. Listen, I don't like to brag, but pretty good at Animal Crossing. Oh, you know what, too? We have not even looked to see what we should be doing in terms of our Nook Mile tasks. Seller of unwanted stuff, we did that. Hooray for our first sale. Thank you, thank you. And another little fish. All right, let's go. Come on, let's have just as good as luck. All right, we got ourselves an anchovy. Ooh, this one's big. And I saw one over here. Look at it, look at it, it's big. What is this? What's this one gonna be? Oh, we got ourselves an olive flander. Flander, no, flounder. Oh my God, it's not even an olive flounder, it's a dab. <laughs> Remember that one time I said I was really good at Animal Crossing? I, um, I would like to formally revoke that statement and apologize to all of the Animal Crossing players who actually know what they're talking about. I am not one of you. I should have never have claimed to be one of you. Let's check out the rivers. We haven't caught a fish in the river yet. Let's see. Oh, this one's far away. I don't know if he'll be able to make it to my rod. Let's see. Oh, come on fish. No, don't turn that way. Turn this way. Come on, turn around, turn around. Turn around, fish, fish. Here, fishy, fish, 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 come on. Ugh, exhausting, okay, I give up on you. 
Faith? Okay, Faith is over here and clearly she has a good spot because look what we just found. Come on, little guy, let's go. See the yellow bobber? Yeah, that's the one. Come on, bite it. Yes. Oh my gosh, how cute. We got a little guppy. Look at its eye. It's terrified, poor thing. Don't worry, no one eats you. We're gonna put you in a museum and a great big old aquarium. Still not ideal for you, but you know, it's better than, than dying. Oh, <laughs> take what you can get, you know what I mean? Oh, <gasps> that stupid dragonfly again. Oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Wait, oh no, what a tease. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on. Remember that one time I said I was good at Animal Crossing and then I revoked the statement about being good at Animal Crossing? I would like to reinstate that I am the master of Animal Crossing, in fact. Um, do I know what this dragonfly is called? No, oh, a darner. A darner dragonfly. There we go, see, I knew it this whole time. Oh yeah. Now how much space do I have in my pockets? None, okay. No space left, so let's go ahead and bring all of this to Mr. Timmy, and we'll chat with Tom too about these little critters we found. See what he has to say about that. All right, Tom, we have to have a talk, my guy. Tom, you won't believe it, I found a creature. In fact, I found several. Tom, you have to check out this guppy out. It has a giant eyeball. It's a really pretty blue color. It actually matches your eyeballs. What a catch. I know. I think it's probably my favorite one I've caught today. If this island can support a guppy, then who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Tom, I found several. An old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Man, the guppy I really, really like, Tom. I should have given you one of the duplicates, huh? Well, you know what? Okay, let's go Go ahead and send it to him. Let's see. I'll take extra good care of your guppy. Whatever you say. Don't, don't hurt him. I already promised him he wouldn't be hurt. And now Tom is giving us a very useful app for us to track what we catch. Super handy. Our Critterpedia, ready and downloaded. Now, Tom, I know we just spoke, but you won't absolutely believe it. I found another creature. Now this time, I'm not gonna give you the guppy. I am going to give you one of these common blue bottles because we have two of them. And I wanna sell the other one <laughs> for money. To pay off the fees, you are making me pay off. Yes, go ahead and send this to Blathers. I mean, the museum curating friend who we don't know who exists yet. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY work lately oh, it's like it's like he didn't even see us come in and make that awful mistake with the fishing rod earlier oh we love that friend we love that friend that just forgives us for our embarrassing mistakes and is like you didn't i didn't see anything happen right yeah no we that didn't even happen come to think of it i have seen you tinkering around a bit over there no 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 you only saw us make the net correctly Right? That's what you mean? That's what you mean? You didn't see the mistake with the fishing rod. That reminds me, I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Yes, please. I would particularly like a shovel because that is going to come in handy. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood along with a recipe to craft an ax, not a shovel. Still helpful, not a shovel. Is this because I embarrassed myself earlier? Probably. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Well, Tom, you won't believe it. I have another creature. <laughs> Let's give him the locust. Here you go, Tom. Long locust, just for you. And go ahead and send it. I can't remember how many things we have to donate in order for Blathers to actually come and visit. It's probably like five or 10 maybe. So I don't know. By the way, I have a proper reward for you this time. I'm really? Oh my goodness, some flowers, some red pansy bags. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. I love it. Tom Nook is like low key trying to be leaf. He's like, no. I'm going to be the one who runs the nursery here. Go ahead and do some planting and after a few days, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Now I do want to see what other DIY recipes he gave us. So the ax and then we have a tiki torch and some log stakes. All right, not the worst, but still no shovel. Can I even plant these flowers without a shovel? Let's see, plant one. Oh, I can. Okay, let's go ahead and plant all of them. I guess just right around my house because that's uh, what, I, what I'm doing. Cool, we have some little pansies planted right here that very much blend in with the weeds. Wow, I am not a good gardener. But you know, it is what it is. Buck, how you doing? Yo, Katie, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I know. I think it's going to be a really good spot for you. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, partner. Oh, right. I've got something here for you, partner. Thanks again for finding a place for my... That seems suspicious. What does he mean, a place for my place? Is he embarrassed that he's repetitive with his word choice? Or is he implying that his place is something actually a little sketchy. I don't know. What are you giving me? This will tell us. That mesh cap is perfect for Cove Cala. Well, thanks, Buck. Let's see what this mesh cap even looks like. All right. Ta-da. 
Oh, man. Um, listen, this outfit is still very much Guy Fieri energy, but now with a big old purple hat. What are you trying to say, Buck? Are you trying to say that I need to cover this awful hairdo? Is that what you're telling me? Thank you for the gesture. But speaking of uh, getting presents from our villagers, let's go see if Faith will give us anything. Why not? All right, where'd you go? Oh, you're still fishing. Come on, Faith. Wonder what kind of fish I'm going to meet today. I hope they're nice. Wait, didn't we just have this conversation? Okay, I'm just gonna leave you alone. It seems like you're very much in the zone. We're picking up weeds. We're picking up more weeds. We're picking up weeds and we're picking up weeds. All right, Tom, look at me. I have a hat now, so this is a different conversation. However, I have more creatures. Look at this. Let's see how many we have to donate. Um, Yellow butterfly, here you go. Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong, okay. But if you water them, each day. That's where the magic happens. Oh, give me a watering can. Give me a watering can. And how might you water them, you ask? Well, I just sent you a DIY recipe for a watering can. Ugh, my accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free. What? Do I have to pay you for a watering can? Oh, okay. He's saying that since I've given him some critters that this is just, you know, a little give and take. All right, you almost scared me there, Tom. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Well, guess what? You won't believe it. I have yet another creature. Yes, go ahead and send the common butterfly his way as well. Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Well, you should hold the phone if someone's calling because you need to talk to them. Blathers, is that you? Uh-huh, oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Oh man, are we, are we supposed to be eavesdropping this conversation? <gasps> what? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. I have to say, Timmy just staring into the void right now as we both just casually eavesdrop this conversation is quite the vibe. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's gonna come to our island and help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Absa freaking lutely Tomorrow, Blathers. The next day, Brewster. Listen, we are making headwinds here, but I could use your help. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We already have to pick where the museum is going to go? Oh boy, oh boy. We'll need a good sized space. Oh man. Okay, well, let's I guess find where we're gonna put this museum. The museum is such a large structure as it grows and grows and grows. And quite frankly, I'm regretting putting Faith and Buck where they are, even though I know they love those spots, but oh my goodness, I spread them out way too much to where now I don't know where I'm gonna put this museum without it looking really weird. Oh geez, Tommy, give me some good news. Feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything you need to help you get used to living here. Well, I need a little advice on where to put the tent. You know, shaking trees or cutting them down can sometimes knock loose a wasp nest, so be careful. Your face might get all puffy if you get stung while tangling with angry wasps. Good advice, not the advice I was looking for, but good advice. Look at him, you can tell that he has gotten stung before. That is a face of a stung, swollen raccoon boy. I've even heard, <laughs> heard of puffy faced folks getting re-stung and then fainting, so don't press your luck. Well, I appreciate the advice, Tommy. You look so, so cute with your little flag, but I have got to figure out where we're gonna put this museum. Oh boy, okay, Blathers. Where should Blathers go? So Faith's tent is here. Maybe, maybe the museum could go back this way. I mean, we're awfully close to resident services, but I don't know where else to put him. There's also so a lot of room up here. Hmm, what to do, what to do. You know what, let's look at our map. Oh, this is the first time I'm looking at the map. Now, obviously we don't have a vaulting pole yet. We don't have a ladder yet. That's gonna take a while to get, but just by looking at the area that we can access, you know what, maybe a little bit further to the right of where I'm standing is going to be the best spot. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that makes the most sense. So let's go maybe over here. Blathers tent marker, build right here. Um, let me imagine it. <gasps> Look at that. I think this is a great spot, at least for starters. I think it's good. Blathers can set up his place now. How exciting. We are only two episodes in and we're already getting our big bird on the next episode. I think that is pretty impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode. I think a lot more is going to happen as we continue and build this island from scratch. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see as well. I definitely wanna come and visit your islands as a part of this Let's Play series for trading fruit, gathering resources, 
resources, shopping at your Nook's Cranny or Able Sisters, visiting NPCs, all that good stuff. So if you want to participate in that part of this Let's Play and have your island be on camera as I'm collecting those things, make sure to follow me on Twitter and then join my Discord. Both links are in the description box. Those are the two primary ways I will probably ask to come and visit some islands as I am trying to get all of my fruit, trying to collect all of my bugs, trying to get iron, which that is going to be tough. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see happen in the next episode, and I will see y'all next week. Bye! You can click right here if you want to subscribe to my channel and make sure you don't miss any new videos, or you can click right here and check out this different video I made.